Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video. This one revolves more around um, some organization and some actually nail supplies. So I do like to do my own nails, as you can see. Um, I did these yesterday. They're just like these really, really cute like little frog nails. And they're not, you know, I'm not like a professional or anything like that, but I do enjoy doing my own nails and it's something that I think is really, really fun. So I have accumulated lots and lots of nail supplies, which is all in this drawer. And then I do actually have like a couple of some newer things that I need to kind of pack out and find space for in here. But right now I have just sort of an overflow of a ton of different things. Some things I feel like I can get rid of, some things I actually have like duplicates of that I want to kind of get rid of, some things that are almost empty that I have replacements for. But yeah, I just basically need to do like a full on organize, like organization of this drawer because right now there is no order to it kind of just like start taking stuff off the top so I have like a huge pack of a bunch of these files I have two in here right now so I'm just going to keep those I'm just going to put them off to the side for now because I don't know how I'm going to start organizing everything yet but I will keep those I'm going to put them on the side then I have this is just a like nail polish remover I do actually have I have a mini bottle in here now. I got both from Five Below. That's so funny. I bought this one a long time ago. It was $3 and this mini was $3.25. Kind of weird. All right, but anyways, I'm going to keep the little one in here, but the big one I'm just going to put back in the bathroom, which is where I kind of got it from. Also, by the way, I'm going to have some of this isopropyl alcohol and some cotton pads on the side. A lot of this stuff is sticky that has had like gel polish kind of leak all over it. So I will be wiping down a ton of stuff that is sticky uh, if it comes to it, but yeah. Then I have my little nail lamp. This thing is like the princess of being sticky so i am going to wipe this one down a little bit i really want to get like a new nail lamp but i just don't have the space right now so i just have the super mini one and i feel like it doesn't cure like my polish all the way so it's like kind of an issue um but yeah maybe after i kind of do a big clear out i'll finally buy myself a new nail lamp but this one's pretty good for now it just is the one that like folds up and has the little legs it has like a USB attachment, so I always just like plug stuff into my laptop or like a USB connector. Um, but yeah, so I will be keeping the lamp because that's my only lamp that I have right now. Then I have some of my drill bits, which I'm going to keep, and then my drill. I will try to find the link and put it down below, but I feel like stuff like this always goes like in and out of stock on Amazon because it's just like kind of the same thing, just sold by a different bunch of different sellers. Um, but yeah, that came with the nail bits, so I know that those fit perfectly. I want to get different nail bits, but I don't know if they're going to fit my drill, and I can't, like, figure out, I don't know, I'm going to have to try to go back and see if I can figure out what drill that is, so I can see, like, what size bits it takes. But yeah, I don't know. I may have to get a new nail drill so that I can get some new bits. I'm not really sure. And I have this Beatles. This is the foundation base gel. I do think I actually have a different base gel that I just purchased because this one, I feel like my nail polish, I don't know if it's my lamp that's not letting it cure all the way or if it's this base gel because I find that the Beatles nail polishes, like I even have some with regular gel, gel polish, these are super, super thick and they don't always cure through all the way. So I don't know if it's the gel, the base that comes with it, or if it's the actual nail polish. So I'm going to put this on the side for now, but I think I, I'm pretty sure I bought a new one. Um, at the end when I kind of go through all of my new stuff, uh, I'll determine if I want to get rid of that or not. Then I have my cuticle eliminator. This is actually really, really good. It gets rid of all of that dead skin on your nail beds, so it's really good for cuticle prep. Then I have this sort of like little buffing block. I got this from Target. I forgot what the brand name was. It is whatever, like this logo is it came with this and like two of these little ones so i'm gonna hold on to those for now i do think i got a new buffer but i'm gonna put that on the side anyway then this came in a little kit from amazon it's just one of those if you like it's like a little palette so if you're doing um your nails obviously and you want to like use a bunch of different colors with like detail brushes you could just pour your stuff onto here and then just wipe it clean so i'm gonna keep that that is new used it for the first time yesterday and it was like super helpful i have in here just some of my go-to nail tips these ones are the ones from the attitude shop nail supplies i'm pretty sure i got these off of etsy again if you are interested just let me know if you want me to drop a link for it and i will leave a link in the comments or whatever in the description but these are my favorite nail tips they're this length i think they might be a tiny tiny bit longer because i did file them to be more rounded these ones are sort of like a like more of a short kind of stiletto type nail but i really like them they're the perfect perfect length for length for me they're not too long but they still give my nails a little bit of like a nicer look to it so yeah these are my favorite nail tips 
Then on the side, these are my actual tips that I have. I don't know what brand these are or anything like that, but they come in this really nice acrylic case. And these are just like straight up like regular clear tips. So you can see they don't have like the full cover. They're the ones that go kind of like, let's say you're gonna go like this. It'll go on the tip of your nail to extend it that way. But yeah, these I don't use as much. Sometimes I dabble around in acrylic, but lately I've just been using the full cover ones because they're a little bit easier. But I am going to keep those because those are my only like tips that I have. Then I have these from McCart. These are the um, coffin nail tips. Yeah, these ones are longer than the ones from the Attitude Shop. So I'll try to show you. I used to, what I use, what I used to do was I would always use these and then I would just have to like cut them down and file them and it would take me so long because they are pretty long and they just like weren't really super functional for me. So just to get an idea of how much longer these are, you can see they are way long, but I do want to keep them just in case, I don't know, I'm doing someone else's nails or I ever want to just like kind of practice my, my nail art on longer tips. I do think I'm going to keep those and they are McCart, so you know, they're pretty good as well. So I'm going to hold on to them. <laughs> I have a like really dusty hair curler. I'm just going to throw that away. I have too many of them anyway. I only ever use like four at a time if I'm ever using them. So yeah, don't need those. Now, in here, I have a bunch of these nail art brushes. I ordered new nail art brushes. They're up on, like, in, like, a cup holder somewhere. I'm not gonna go grab them because I'm, like, on the ground right now. But a bunch of my brushes, like, I was not cleaning them correctly, so they got, like, all messed up. So I'm just gonna throw away, like, pretty much all of these. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this blue one. I don't even know if I have... Yeah, I mean, I think that works. This one is still good. Do not use that. This is like an acrylic one, which is a little bit messed up. So I'm just going to get rid of anything that I know that I'm not going to reach for. I'm not really sure what these like broken little tweezers are from. So I'm also going to throw those away. Then I have some of the little orange sticks. This is some form of like a cuticle cutter, but I have like the regular one. So I'm going to get rid of it. Then I have another one of these. I don't know, maybe it could be good for like applying gems or something. I'll keep this one because the other one is broken, but I will keep that. Then I have this little glue. I don't even know what this is from, Oops. but I have my favorite one. I actually use the glue from Glamnetic and that one's really, really good. And I feel like this one, actually this one's still good. I don't know. I don't know the quality of the glue, but I'll keep it just in case. Then this nail file, this is a pretty good nail file. It's just like all worn out. So I'm gonna get rid of it because I have a bunch of new ones. Sorry, I'll let you see a little bit more of what I'm doing here. This sort of metal file thing, I don't really know what it's for. I mean, it does have some like grip to it. It could be good to get actually like in these areas on the side. Cause I feel like whenever I get like any sort of overflow or something, it's hard to get a file in there, but this is like super, super thin. So I will actually keep that. Then I just have this angled nail clipper I'll hold on to, and then a regular nail clipper I'll hold on to. This is a like one of those wax pencils for when you're picking up rhinestones to kind of put on your nail. So I will keep that as well. And I have a bunch of these. Um, I know for a fact that this is sticky, so I'm gonna be careful. Um, these are a bunch of just like these regular sanding bands that go on your nail drill and you can just replace them instead of having to like purchase a whole tip. But I want to get the tip to remove gel polish because I'm sick of like going through like 20 sanding bands when I'm taking off my gel polish. So I am going to wipe this bag down and I will keep it for now. I have, let's see, oh this is my rhinestone gel. So this is from Beatles and it's basically like you'll put this on and then you'll swipe a top coat over it. It has the cover on it right now, um, but it's just some rhinestone gel for when you're attaching any sort of charms or rhinestones. So I am going to keep that because it's the only one I have. I have a tip cutter. This is a super really like cheap, low quality one, but it gets the job done. So I will hold on to it. Even though I have my perfectly sized out tips, it is good for if I ever want to use the McCart ones again or my other uh, regular nail tips. I have a stray drill bit, which this one is actually one of my faves. It's like a safety bit, so you can kind of really get it around the cuticle area. As you can see, I was missing it because my cuticles are not like really that well done. I was also tinting my eyebrows yesterday and I got tint on my skin and now it just like looks bad. So don't mind that if you see see that anywhere. Where I really need to like get real with myself is when it comes to 
my polishes. So I have, of course, my regular Mia Secret Bio Builder. This is what I use as the base for my nails, and I always use this to build up my nail tips to make them a little bit thicker. Although this does get very, very messy. So again, another thing that I need to wipe clean with some alcohol. All right, so that is, for the most part, not sticky anymore. Then I have my two favorite white and black polishes. These are from Beatles. Again, they are pretty thick polishes, but they are good for doing nail details because they're super, super pigmented. So I will definitely be keeping those. So I did buy a new top coat and base coat and everything, but I think I will keep that one for now just because it is pretty new. And I know I have like one or two other ones that I can definitely get rid of that are a little bit older and like not as good. I have this one on now and it's pretty shiny. But I don't know, I just feel like I could be using something like a little bit better. Of course, it's all sticky. All right, that's all good to go. Then I have this polish. This is from Le Mini Macaron Gel Polish. This is in the shade Latte. Of course, I don't know why. Is this, does this just me? Or like, does you, do you literally get gel polish like everywhere? And then everything is always sticky. This is brand new. I used it for when I did a Halloween look. I will... Put it up on the screen this is from red carpet this is in the shade timeless beauty it's just kind of like a cream color so i'll keep that then i have some of these beetles gel polishes this one is actually a sparkly one which i really like i probably will end up keeping all of these just because they're fairly new and then i have this which is a gray one these are all really pretty yeah i think i'm gonna keep pretty much all these gel polishes. These ones are the ones that are super old that I need to kind of think about. I do definitely know I'm going to keep these two because I always use them for when I'm doing any sort of like cute detailing. So like the pink I used on the frog and then the yellow I used on the flowers. So I do like to keep these to use as like some detailing. But again, like all my stuff gets so messy. Like I don't even know how this happens. It's so weird. Oh, and then I did not realize there was this little like file under here this is just a tiny one that comes with like kiss nails so i'm gonna get rid of it because i don't need it then i have this which is just kind of like a brown sort of color i have the one the latte shade and then this one so i don't think i need that i'm gonna get rid of it of course it had polish on it so now my hands are all sticky oh this was the um base coat i do also have the top coat from this brand these ones i'm gonna get rid of these ones are super super old so i'm just gonna toss that I also have the Beatles top coat. This one, I don't know. I didn't even realize that I had a top coat from them. I guess I'll hold on to it for now and I'll try it out. And then I'll kind of determine like between these two and like my new one, which one I like best. And that's the one that I'll stick with. But it's good to have a couple options, you know. This, this is actually a super pretty like lilac kind of color. I do have this one from Beatles. So let me see. So that one's pretty... And then I feel like this one is maybe a little bit darker. Hmm. I mean, they are different. I don't know. I guess I'll keep that one. And then, yeah, this is the other one. It has, like, hair on it. It's all sticky. Definitely going to throw that one away. Then I have these from McCart. I have the nail dehydrator and the nail primer. I really like the dehydrator because it smells like watermelon, but this one is almost empty. I do think I'm going to keep it for now. The primer is probably still good, so I will keep that also, but those ones are going to be like, kind of like next to go as soon as they run out because I did buy replacements for them that I wanted to try out. Um, see, like I have another nail file here. I have like a ton of these. I bought like a huge, huge pack of these and they're really, really good. They're 180 grit. So I do like that a lot. Oh no, I forgot to use my Halloween stickers. These are actually pretty cute. What the heck? I'm so upset that I forgot these. I bought them last year and then I forgot to use them. And then now it's November 2nd. So there goes that. I'm going to have to keep them again for another year. And then I have these other really cute nail stickers. Again, they're from the same brand that like my buffer was from. I don't know, but you can get it at Target. But it's really, really cute as well. Okay, I have some more gel polish. I have this one, another one from Red Carpet in the shade Unscripted. It's really pretty denim blue. Love that. Oops. Then I have a regular Essie nail polish. Ooh, this has gel polish all over it. Let me just clean that up. This is actually new. Me and my mom each picked out like a color for when we get our nails done, like our, uh, for when we get like pedicures, but we never went. But this is the picture, um, this is the color that I picked out. It's in the shade of 49 Gossamer Gar Garments. It's like really pretty pastel pink. So I will keep that one. 
But as far as like my other gel, my other regular polishes go, these are the ones that I like and I want to keep. But I have a whole bunch back here that I'm holding on to like just because, but I don't even know if I need them. Then I have this. This is the OPI Infinite Shine like top coat and base coat. I do already have them. I got them. I got this as a gift for my brother, but I did actually already have this. So I'm going to see if any of those are like dried out or kind of gloopy and then I'll just replace it with this. If not, then I'll just see if like my boyfriend's sister wants this because I know she does her nails as well. What I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to remove these containers here with my gel polish so I can kind of get to all the other stuff that's like in the back this and then i have another one of these nail art brushes i'm gonna get rid of it it's all sticky and messed up then i have some other polishes here this one is sort of like a teal sparkly pink and this color i actually like this one it's in the shade 74 but i will get rid of those two. Oh, and this is another um actually i thought this was a builder gel but it's not it's just like a sheer pink gel polish that i actually really really like so i will definitely keep that Oh, so you can see I did use it here. This is what the sheer pink looks like. I designed some nails that I thought like I would keep and use them as like press-ons. They're super, super cute, but to, if I'm being real with myself, I just don't think that I'm ever going to use them because I've had them since like the summertime and I still haven't put them on. And I've been enjoying just kind of like doing them myself. So I'm just going to get rid of the press-ons that I made. Also, I had like a self-tanner, um, like self-tanner remover in here and it spilled and it made my entire drawer like start to peel and look really gross so if you ever see that just ignore it then in here i have some design and like acrylic -y stuff so i have a bunch of dual forms i have these paper ones and then i have some plastic ones i think i'm going to get rid of the plastic ones and i'm going to keep the paper ones just because i've seen more people like use those i have a little bit of monomer left this is ema monomer i hope that's the correct one and not the one that you're not supposed to use I got them in a kit. Um, then this is clear, white, and pink. I've only ever used the clear. I haven't used any of the other ones yet, just because I haven't really done that much acrylic. So, you know. Then I have this from Kiss. This is the their clear acrylic powder. Again, I haven't used this. My friend actually gave it to me, but I figured I would just hold on to it. Then I have a bunch of these really, really cute glitters. I forgot what they came in. Um, this is like one of those hollow glitters that you kind of buff in with like the nail like the um, eyeshadow applicator so I'm gonna keep that and then yeah I mean I just have a bunch of these glitters and I don't really see any reason to get rid of them I feel like it could be fun for the holidays like there's some really pretty hollow ones like these and then I have just like some other various colors some stars micro glitter so I think those are really really cute then I just have some of the um, little eyeshadow applicators that go to buff in so I'll leave that in there. I do have another nail clipper, which I'll hold on to as well. Oh, and then over here, I do have some of these cuticle pushers. This is the one that I normally use, this sort of like oil spill looking one, and I just found this in here, so that's good to know. Now I have two of them. I have some brushes for acrylic. These are messed up, so I am going to have to get some new acrylic brushes. This one is okay for now. This is a different one that I purchased. This is one of the Kalinsky brushes in size 8, so I will hold on to it for now, but these Moravan ones, I unfortunately did really kind of screw up, so I'm going to get rid of it and then just put all of this acrylic stuff in here. And then I'm just going to throw these glitters in here as well, just because I don't really have another spot for them. I will put my forms in there as well. A bunch of these charms. I think it's this one that gets everywhere, so I'm going to be very careful. Then I have this one, which comes with a bunch of these gold, really, really cute charms. I don't know if you're able to see. It has, like, feathers, moons, little lips, just some other, like, butterflies, I think, or maybe seashells. I'm not sure. But yeah, just really, really cute stuff in here. So I'm definitely going to keep that. And then this one is like these mini pearls. And then this one is just regular rhinestones. Then I have this because I have like this nail stand thing. Like to practice doing designs on. Which I feel like I kind of regret this because I tried it and it's just like not for me. But yeah. I don't know. 
Then I have this, which I do. It's like disgusting and there's like hard acrylic everywhere in it, but I keep this for when I do acrylic. So I'm just gonna put that in the little acrylic section. Then I have this, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's extremely old. Back here is where I feel like I can basically like get rid of almost this whole thing. I do have more dual forms, which I don't need. So I think I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't know, I feel like this is such a waste. Like I don't really know anyone who would use them. So maybe I'll just use this as like an extras bin and get rid of a bunch of the polishes in here. Then I have some of like a, so, many, so many of these nail striper things, which they're cute. Like a lot of them have really pretty designs, but I just don't know. Like I really, really don't know if I even want to keep these. Maybe I will, maybe I will. I don't know, I'll put them on the side for now. These gems that are like in this bag, I'm just gonna get rid of because I have nowhere to store them. So I'm gonna pass those on. Then I have some poly gel dual forms. These ones I will keep for now. Um, I actually did order like a UV, like a little lamp thing like this. This is the brand, I think. Um, I got this from Amazon. So it's one of these, oh, there's no batteries in it. Um, but it's a little UV lamp so that way it's easier when you're carrying poly gel to kind of like flash cure it and then go under your lamp so you can kind of hold it in place because that was one thing that I always struggled with doing poly gel and kind of like discouraged me from using it. So now I also have that thing. Um, but yeah, I don't even know where I was going with that. I literally have no idea. Was I talking about the dual forms? Yeah, I'm gonna keep the dual forms. Then I have all my poly gels and stuff in here, which I think I'm gonna keep all the poly gel. It's really my regular like nail polish that I need to get rid of stuff. So the landscapers are here, but I really wanna continue working on this. So I think I'm just going to sort through this and do like a little time lapse and I will come back once I can start talking again. Okay, so I think it is quiet enough now where I can start talking again, but basically I just kind of went through and organized my acrylic stuff, my regular nail polish here, which I'll briefly go through if you guys are interested, um, and then I have my other gel polishes down here, and then I'm going to put more gel polish and like top coat and stuff over here, but I do just have some new things here, so this is from Model 1's, this is the Nail Dehydrator and Primer Set, so this is for like acrylic and UV nails obviously. And this just kind of preps your nails before you can start applying polish to them. That way it lasts longer. Right, so I have my dehydrator and my primer. Then I also picked up their base coat and top coat, which is a, should be a no wipe top coat, which I really appreciate because I hate having to wipe my nails off after I top coat them. But they're just really nice. They're pretty small, but I like it because I like to kind of switch it up every now and then. And then they'll also kind of fit pretty nicely in here. So I'm excited about that. Then for like my everyday sort of nail tips, I'm just going to throw them on top of the acrylic section just because I don't really use that, to be honest. Um, and that's what I feel like doing. I'm going to put my nail polish remover here. 
Then I also picked this up, which obviously I do not think that any of them, all this is going to fit in here, but this is a little thing that I'm going to put rubbing alcohol in, and then these are some lint-free wipes. So I might be able to open, I'm going to open this up actually, and I'll kind of figure it out. So what I think I'm going to do is just take out a stack of the lint-free wipes. I also added in some rubbing alcohol in here. I always forget to get rubbing alcohol out of the bathroom because that's like the one that like is for my household. But I finally have some in here, which is perfect in this container. It fits perfectly in here, and I really like it. It's super cool because it has the lid where, like, you kind of push it down. So, I don't know. I feel like that's very cool. So, I'm so excited to finally have that, and, like, none of my stuff will be sticky anymore. But this is a ton of lint-free wipes. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take a stack of them out. And then these I'm going to put in a different drawer that I have a little bit more room in. But for now, I'm going to pop my lint-free wipes somewhere i got cut off somewhere but basically i'm just working on like organizing everything right now i just put like my cuticle eliminator back here i have my rubbing alcohol my lint-free wipes i put my builder gel over here so sorry if the camera angle changed at all the landscapers came back so i just went ahead and like started organizing stuff myself but basically what i did was i didn't realize that i didn't leave any area for like any of my tools and stuff so i just kind of threw it on top of like this acrylic stuff just because i don't really use that a lot and it's pretty easy for me to just access and then I went ahead and actually just grabbed my brushes so I could show you so these are all of like my nail art brushes dotting tools I put the orange sticks in here I put in like the little tweezers for some rhinestones and stuff in here so yeah that is all of my nail art stuff then I just have like my nail drill and my lamp which I'm just gonna sort of throw on top also so it's gonna look really messy but this is basically like the nice before and after type thing I just have really beautiful drawer now and then I'm gonna make it ugly just by throwing this on top just because I'm gonna take this out anyway when I do my nails so it's not really that big of a deal for it to just be kind of like thrown on top and then same thing with my drill bits I'm also gonna throw that on top just because I don't want to lose them so I want to make sure like I'll always be able to kind of see them and know where they are but yeah so that's everything and I do have a cuticle cutter somewhere I think it might be on my desk so I could easily just kind of throw that in whenever I'm ready but yeah overall I'm pretty happy with how my drawer came out and I am so glad that I finally got like a new dehydrator and new top coat and base coat because my other ones were so sticky and just like so old and so gross I really just wanted kind of a refresher on some of that stuff and now I have like my little nail palette like you don't know this but I just got this the other day so I'm just really excited to kind of have everything sort of in order have like this little nail lamp and stuff I don't know I just feel like I'm finally set when it comes to like all my nail supplies and stuff like that if you are interested in seeing me do any nail designs I definitely would love to kind of incorporate that on my channel but again if I know most people are only here for like the makeup and testing stuff like that not really for the nail art but I've really really been into watching nail videos and doing nails on myself so I think it could be pretty fun but yeah just let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in but again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had such a really fun time filming this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.